Now here's something pretty neat about the grilling device. Um, I know it's older, they got the ID and all the other stuff, but basically you get a lot of mechanical advantage and I'm just gonna pull that rope, but I'm gonna show you the, the benefits of this. Now at first, we just start by pulling that slack out of there and once you stop, it holds your position on your rope. Okay, now we're gonna swing this um, rock, rock grab device out some more. Of course, we got, of course, we got that micro pulley. And you can see I'm just using my lanyard here. And um, there we go again, I'm pulling it out. It stops that slack. And see, the great thing about this is that, okay, now I'm gonna advance this out. See, now before I'm pulling that, see how I'm pulling that device and I'm getting it tight. And when I let off of it, it holds it here. And I still got it gripped up here. Um, not the bottom, you know, that's the free end. But that's how I can pull that rope. I can pull, I mean, I can, I could probably pull that whole fence off here if I wanted to with this, but I'm not going to do that. But I'm just showing you the advantage that you have with using configurations with devices. And you put that, you can see I'm putting the spin on it. And when I stop, it's just like that. And then releasing is just as simple as just pushing down on it. So it's pretty neat. I learned that watching YouTube, <laughs> of all things, you know, it's an amazing place to learn all type of stuff. But that's like a high angle rescue type technique there that the guys use. Um, of course, they have a better setup than this, better devices. But push come to shove, I can lift somebody up out the tree or if I need a log lifted up. And this is just my lanyard I'm using here. Um, get some more ropes, everything set up. Um, and you in the game. And the only default about this system is that the rope grab device actually uses a um, a system of like a, um, what do you call it, um, Allen wrenches um, or hex wrenches, whatever you want to call them. But that's the only downfall. If I had a, like a better one that would actually, I could just snap like one little pin out and then put it together on the monitor, it would be a lot faster. And also with respects to using, now you can use the grillion like this, which is technically a lanyard device for um, semi lifeline and it's one of them things that's like it's rated for lifeline but not for a long period of time I'm assuming but at any rate I don't think it'll fail um with the weight that you could probably put five to a thousand pounds on it probably wouldn't fail at that rate but you still want to use the stuff within the capabilities of um or the device within the capabilities of what it's specified for so this is one of them things but they record they would recommend if you used it like this to have multi tie-in points um, or little points that were just in case this gave out, you'll still be hanging on if you were tied out here on this line at another point, you know. So you would have one maybe, say, about here, maybe one here, maybe one there. But, of course, you would have a lot more rope and a lot more setup than this right here. And with, with respects to a high angle rescue or just the type of setup that you would need to, to pull somebody out of something or get yourself out of a bind. But, again, it's just really neat how this equipment can have multiple uses and it's really 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 interesting i mean tree works amazing already but just to have some of the nice stuff and i know why a lot of guys be trying to go for broke when they go to sherelle tree or treestuff.com or bailey's or westbury you know they really um all that stuff we see and it's just, it just keeps getting better um i myself am a big fan of the art devices although i don't right now i can't really afford them but it's just one of them situations hey it's just the idea some of that stuff makes you be able to streamline your work and be able to really be really efficient. But I just wanted to show you guys that. I'm not going to rattle you off, but I thought that was pretty neat, though. And I just can advance that out any at any point I need to. And even, like, pulling the tree, if I need more, I'll, I'll probably use this if I ever need to pull some more slack out of a tree. And I don't trust, you know, that I can have enough pull on it and I don't want to put no tag along or come along on it. Um, I can just use this setup. You know, hold it. No problem. You know, I wouldn't put but so much on it. I just need just a little, little tightening to get that tree to come the direction I want. Not nothing real big, but a little small stuff, none, no, no doubt. And I'm sure to hold it. Look at that. That bad boy don't play. It holds. It catches really fast too. Like when I was climbing within the tree, it I let it let it out and it let it off. Boom! It caught me. Even with the shock load, I was like, wow. But there you have it. Oh yeah, and the downfall with this too is compared to the other devices, you do have to undo your whole system to get this off because it's the only way you're going to open it up. Um, but the only thing about it is that, um, again, I mean, if you're not really doing no high angle rescue and you're just doing little minuscule stuff, 
that really ain't gonna make no difference just have to unsnap this and you're not really way up high as long as you got your second tile off you'll be good but that really doesn't make a big issue i mean i think that's more of a, a um a feature for to call convenience there you go there's the grillion i'm just curious to know has anybody ever used a grillion lanyard adjuster as a, an ascender okay Granted, I'm tied up in this little pumper. <sighs> Ant fell out of there. Sorry about that. But I'm just messing around. <laughs> yeah. But I'm doing some little light swinging. I ain't too far above the ground just in case, you know. But the reason was because <laughs> I know it's not supposed to be, it's actually a lanyard adjuster, but my goodness, I was just attempting it because I was seeing how they use the Petzl rig and the ID and the Gree Gree device. And I said, of course, now the only option, the only thing I seen different from this than the old, the, the smaller Gree Gree was they did have a screw inserted about right there I should have put that back in there but just as a climb put part of my climb and just descending in general just I was just gonna see how it worked but because I was just curious to death and I'm not gonna even hold that other end but it's super smooth I mean unbelievably smooth I know it's not rated for a double rope technique but even climbing up the tree um, it's the same scenario And you just take the sock out. <laughs> oh, I know it's crazy. I don't know if you can see now though. There you have it. I don't know if you can see it, but definitely not the proper way to use this, but it's actually pretty neat though. Take some swings for double rope. Okay, here we go. See how well it does. Okay, this bad boy holds up really well, surprisingly, like, unbelievably well. I'm scared limb will probably pop before this piece will. Well, it holds up really well. Granted, like I said, I know it's not specifically for double rope technique. It seems pretty secure though. Otherwise, it is for temporary life support. But I was just curious. Just let me know what you think, guys. Peace out. Tree boy for life. See how fast I can get down. Whew. And it stops on the dime. Man, I like that. I like that. Let me know.